All right, gonna do more Animal Crossing New Horizons. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. And this time around, my audio is normal because I had to set up everything again. <laughs> no super quiet voice. Oh, man. Okay. Well, yeah. The island has received its three-star rating, so... The fishing contest, I think, is over. It is 7.20pm, so <laughs> it's over. But that being said, there's stuff I can do. Um, Harv's Island, for one. Got two floors, that's mind blowing. Yeah. I am a reach. Wait, what did I just? I got a bidet. <laughs> okay. Well. That made me look like a villain out of Austin Powers or something. Just a monocle. <laughs> anyway, with that kind of haircut. So, I mean, I'm not at the end, like, this is... There is still a, uh, a downstairs area to go. Crafting. You are not. But I'll say hi. Make yourself at home. Your school uniform with necktie makes you really show off your what lats? Jeez. Well. Oh. Huh. Pick out crafting again. No, everyone's at home right now. Have you been seeing the pumpkin decorations? The Halloween spirit is in the air. Much as I like Halloween, it's pumpkins that I love this time of year, bud. Crafting either. Oh my gosh, welcome. <laughs> Having someone in my house is super exciting. Like, I mean, I guess I had to talk. Just 
get a couple out of the way. Customizing two items, that's sick. Uh, buying another ticket. Nice and easy ones. Who's crafting today? You're not crafting either. Look, who's here? How have you been? I feel like there was something I've been meaning to tell you. What was it, Toasty? Oh well, it's gone. It's on your mind, Toasty. Let's talk. I try not to live my life by the clock, but it's hard to not worry about how much time it takes me to do things. Lately, I've been trying not to time myself by looking at my old-fashioned clock. You're not crafting either. Hong Kong, you came to see me. Let's chat. Hey, it's Saturday. What's your favorite thing to do on the weekend? Me, I like to kick back and do a little baseball, maybe spend some time eating potato chips. Aha, I'm just messing with you. I spend 98% of the weekend taking selfies. Hong Kong. Well, he has his pirate outfit here. He just needs to wear it more. I need to get him a tricorn and then... The outfit is more or less done. Hmm. Is that everyone? I feel like I've visited everyone. Oh, I guess so. Weird. Alright, no one's crafting. You seem chipper. You're always making the effort to stop by, and I can't so much as offer you a cup of tea, I'm sorry. But we just had one more pair of claws around here. To help out, I might be able to chat more. Oh, not this again. Come on, Sable. You gotta stop torturing yourself like this. Our sister Labelle, Labelle label, went out into the world to pursue her big dream of being a big time designer. We promised her we'd work like hedgehogs to take care of the shop. Well, she's gone. Remember, sis? How could I forget when I've got you? But you're right, Mabes. I'll get my head out of the clouds. That said, well, I can't offer sparkling conversation, but I hope you keep stopping by anyway. Seems maybe can help you out. Uh, still hasn't gotten to that point yet. Okay, but it's progress nonetheless. Oh my god. Well, I can't wear both at the same time. Wizard. Ridiculous. I shall go with this. It's like, you know, a, a mix of Dex and Int. It's stealth and, uh... And I guess assassin type stuff. That's... It's good.
<laughs> I mean, it's not Halloween yet, but... I'll collect clothing that I can dress up as. Did I see Thousand Year Door? Yes, I did, confirm me. I, I watched it live and I was pretty fucking excited because I've been wanting to play that game forever, but it's like one of those games that costs a couple hundred dollars to get on GameCube, if not more. So, I was dumbfounded. I could not believe it. Given we're already getting Mario RPG, I didn't think that that was even remotely in the works, so. It's next year, but I'm looking forward to it. I was very happy about that announcement. Um, how's it going? How's how's studies and stuff being a a normal living citizen, I guess. I don't know how to put it. Normal sleep pattern. But and the new Spider-Man. That comes out next week along with, um, Mario, so my Friday is gonna be busy. I'm playing through Sea of Stars and The Last of Us at the moment, and I have to get through those two games within the next week. It's fine, easier than you thought it'd be. Oh, good. Yeah, the time zone has changed here, so it's like 7.30 at night now. But it leads me to believe that I don't think they're ever going to do a... ...an edition of the GameCube games. Just lately, they've just either been remastering them or remaking them, and I think that's all they're gonna do ultimately. I don't think there's gonna be GameCube on Nintendo Switch Online now. Because, I mean, the Metroid Prime ones have been rumored, Pikmin's been done. Now, Thousand Year, Thousand Year Door's been done. And there's a rumor that the next Animal Crossing is gonna be the GameCube one, but remastered. So. I mean, after that, that's that's a lot of GameCube games already done. Sunshine got released already. I mean, the only one that you wouldn't get would be Mario Kart, but... You're a big fan of the Spider-Man video game, Love Swinging. Oh, no, that game was great. I've played both of them. So... I got Miles Morales to ring in the PS5. So yeah, I'll be playing that when it comes out on Friday. I haven't really watched much about it, but... It's just a fun action game. The combat's good. And it's just... I don't know how else to put it. It's just swinging around the city is a lot of fun. Mario Kart was amazing. I haven't played much Double Dash. I only got to play it a couple of times, but it was a lot of fun. But I mean, outside, outside of that, what other GameCube games remain? I mean, Wind Waker's kind of in limbo, but they could bring it across if they wanted to. It's just a matter of porting over the Wii U version, which shouldn't be a massive effort. I don't have a net shit. Uh, okay, well. I'm gonna go make a net. I'm not as familiar with the GameCube library. It'll probably be gone by the time I come back. Frogger? <laughs> Is that for real, or just... There was a good Frogger game on the GameCube? I mean, I, it wouldn't surprise me, because you know what? Pac-Man had a good reinvention in that era. Like, 
I really enjoyed Pac-Man World. I guess it would be something you'd raise an eyebrow over as well. Yeah, I mean, like, I can see it. Like, again, Pac-Man. Pac-Man World was great. So they did something similar to Frogger, huh? Okay, I'll keep it in mind. Um... Uh, but I'm getting through the Warrior game, so I'm gonna play Warrior World for the GameCube. I played Warrior Land 4 on the GBA, like, using the pocket thing, and it was fun. So, I gotta do Warrior World. Because I do have a copy of that one. It's similar to Monkey Ball in Inducing Rage. Oh boy. Okay. So I have to, um, mentally prepare myself. I will look into it. If nothing else, but just as stream about. I played Pikmin 1 already, and that went better than I expected. I thought I was going to struggle with that game, but it was, was fine. I suck at anything where you have to control multiple units at once. Why is it that the, when Nintendo fails at a console, they just seem to have a library of good games on those consoles? Because the GameCube didn't do as well, relatively speaking, and neither did the Wii U, and yet they have these libraries that people really talk up. But then when Nintendo is successful, I mean, excluding the NES and Super NES. I don't know, they, they don't seem to have as widely talked about libraries. Like, people love the Wii, but they don't talk about it as much as the GameCube these days. Even though the Wii was, like, way more successful. And I kind of feel like that's going to be, be the case with the Switch. It's like... Don't get me wrong, the Switch is a great console. It was successful, but... I don't know. I wonder if it's going to get the same sort of... Nostalgia in future. Because it's had a lot of re-releases. There's been original stuff for sure, but probably not to the same extent as they did on the Wii U. Oh, come on, stop. That's all the fossils. I think right now there's no fish for me to catch.
I can't make a villager move out yet, because that just happened last week. This is piquing my interest. Hold on. What? Jeez. Frames seem really low, really? On my end, that's... Am I in 1440p mode? No, I don't think I am. Hang on. They shouldn't be. Try reloading. I'm definitely in 1080p mode. You're on 360p. Okay. <laughs> Scared me for a sec. Ah, Windows Update just fucked some things. So wait, does it looks like there's a few Frogger games on the GameCube and Huh. This is interesting. This might this might be a game that didn't release in Australia. Because I'm only finding American copies of it. There's no European or Australian release as far as I can I can see. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Frogger Behind. $2,000 for an Australian copy. Fuck. <laughs> it must have been- It must have been, like, very limited in release or something, if that's the one you're talking about. Just out of curiosity, I looked like, okay, Frogger doesn't sound like it'd be an expensive GameCube game. It looks like it's one of these titles that didn't release correctly. Yeah, so it's like, I could pay $2,000 for a copy of the Australian version of the game, which apparently is super rare, or I could import an American copy <laughs> and an American GameCube for about 100 bucks. Okay, yeah, that's... That makes perfect sense to me. That's why I didn't get any fossils. Oh, wow. Hang on. DK all these Frogger's been If only the GameCube wasn't region locked. Oh, it's Frogger's Adventures. Okay, so I'm looking at a different game. Alright, let me look this title up. Frogger's Adventures. Yeah, I mean, it still only comes up with American... American releases. This might be something that didn't come out in Europe. Let's... or Australia. Frogger's Adventure... GameCube. Let's see. It, or maybe it got a different title. That could also be it. Did not release in Europe or Australia. There you go. Um, yeah, it didn't release. So there is no copy of it. It's a US exclusive. Interesting. That, I mean... it's so, It was so annoying when that shit happened. That stuff... Thankfully stopped happening in the Wii era, like, that's when everything became, um, international releases, and then there was none of the stuff where just selectively releasing things, at least for the most part. But I guess if, if I wanted to play that, I'd have to be, like, through, um, other methods. I think there's a way to get the Australian GameCube to play. 
an American game through, um... What do you call it? Modding. Which I, I do have the action replay disc to do that shit, so... The boss on the cover is a dick for being the first boss that's incredibly hard. Oh, it's one of those games. <laughs> Got it. The stuff that I've been surprisingly getting into has been, um... I've been messing around with Sega games and for the first time and... They've been fun so far. Particularly the Game Gear. Whilst I haven't messed around with it on stream, I've, I've found a couple of Game Gear games at flea markets, and... That thing was more advanced than the Game Boy, for sure. Like, even the Game Boy Color did not display graphics like that thing did. I guess it's just the hardware was bad. Because it didn't last long, but... The games on it are pretty decent. They look pretty nice on the analog pocket. The only other GameCube game that I've been told to try is Beautiful Joe. But that released on PlayStation as well. Elegant Mirror. Two thousand dollars for Frogger, man. I wonder what happened for that game to be that rare. Like, it must not have. It must not have done well. Let's see. I could. I could spend two thousand dollars on my new graphics card and a couple of computer parts. Or buy Frogger for the GameCube. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I get it. It's like collector's shit. It's sometimes it can't be helped. It's just the game didn't do well or didn't get much release or it's just rare for some reason. Like, there's an NES game that is super good and came out at the end of the NES's life, but... Um... It became rare as a result. So, it's like, one of those games that no one realistically will attain. Because it's just that damn expensive nowadays. But at least that one is, like, an insanely good game. I think the GameCube games just suffered from being easily scratched. Yeah. One horror thing that I haven't had happen to me yet is the concept of disc rot. Like, that's a scary thing. All, all my games are in good condition, thankfully. But I guess I point that out because disc rot is something that happens, like, let's say your game is has a minor scratch on it and it still reads fine. It means that the likelihood of disc rot happening is higher, just because oxidization. Like, the scratch can cause it to happen, basically. Inevitably. Okay, well, I'm gonna go to Harv's Island now. 
I'll bring money with me. One million bells. Okay. Do I have anything new to get? KK is already turning up tomorrow, so I don't need to worry about it. Alright, I'll just get another ticket. Put it in storage, and then when I get rid of the mouse, I will most likely spend this. I'm only doing it because it's subsidized right now. The only Australian exclusive games that I know of <laughs> are ones that were based off Australian, um... TV shows. There's a Game Boy game that is somewhat expensive and it's based off this puppet that used to do a morning cartoon show in the 90s. It's a skating game. The puppet was like a bootleg version of Animal from the Muppets. What was the other ones like? Shells, hot item, alright. It's uh, the puppet was a very boomer puppet. <laughs> Let's put it that way. I don't know how, how else to describe it, but... It was, the puppet would just be cheeky and I guess just tell, like, be in trouble constantly and the co-host would just always tell the puppet off and I guess the puppet was like lessons, I guess and not being too cheeky. But there were times where the pup when the puppet would hit on the <laughs> the co-host. Like that was that was their back and forth. Okay. Um... I'll just bring this with me for now. Villagers. Let me just make sure. These are my villagers now. I need to get rid of Moose. <laughs> I mean, Phil was the camper and Phil's not bad, it's just I didn't get to pick Phil. But definitely Moose has to go. I already got rid of Rocket. Yes. 
I want to find out about this game now. <laughs> Frogger GameCube Australian release. I want to know what the fuck happened. Why is Fro Why is Frogger Beyond so expensive? Dude, the cheapest one is is a thousand dollars. What the fuck? Frogger Beyond. All right, let's see what happened. There's hardly any information on this. It was released in 2003. Bizarre. It got an extremely limited release, apparently, and did not do well. <laughs> I guess that's it. It's, it's just a game that wasn't great, and I guess it's just a collector's item now. It's nice to see you again. Uh, you still haven't been inside the studio, though. Since you came this way, you want to take us through the studio. Alright, do the studio thing. Maybe it's a prerequisite, but I do have three stars on my island, so... This was before Happy Home Decorator. Yeah, this part, I guess, is kind of pointless now. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him no, just let's just get through this. This just looks like a casting couch. <laughs> <laughs> like, just a little bit, a little bit of a casting couch vibe here. Like, you know, director sits here and then there's two people behind. It's on the PS2 as well. I bet the PS2 version isn't nearly as expensive. <laughs> I guess Harv will, will contact me. It could be a, a case that KK needs to visit. But at least I've gotten this out of the way. I wonder if that's that's a gamble you can take, you know? Like, you purchase a game that you know is bad and is going to be seen as being mediocre or maybe not necessarily horrible. Like, okay, it needs to be something that isn't popular and is just seen as mediocre, right? You buy that knowing well that not many people are going to buy it and then bam, 20 years later, sell that shit for several thousand dollars because no one bought it. I mean, shit, if you find the game in a bargain bin, which I assume that game definitely would have been bargain bin material. Saving this money for when I can get the art thing going. I'm 
I'm not sure I have any games on the Switch that are like that. I might have a couple. Alright, well... I'm gonna grind Nook Miles. Okay, uh, crafting, customization, watering produce... What's the hot item? Tiki torch and a brick oven. The torch is easy. Alright, we'll do that. The other thing that I've noticed has started happening is they're doing re-releases of games that weren't that great. So, I'm all for games getting re-releases, like they're reprinting Super Nintendo games, Game Boy games, Game Boy Advance games, they're doing, I guess, new releases of them. They're just uh, reissuing. Is the word. It didn't see me. But there's certain games that just weren't that good, like Jurassic Park, for example. They're re releasing all those cartridges, so the Game Boy one, the Super Nintendo games, all those ones. But they weren't great games. Or at least, I don't know, I don't remember them being good. Like, they were okay, but they weren't amazing. I guess that's the thing, we've kind of reached a point where there are people taking interest in the GBA and the Game Boy and all that stuff now, like, there's just an explosion of newer games coming out for those consoles again. I can get a model spider now. I am surprised that did not see me, jeez. That was incredibly surprising. Another photo, okay. Well. Maybe people will actually enjoy those games. <laughs> I don't know. If I see a re-release of Space Ace, then I'll know something's wrong, because that... That game on the Super Nintendo was not good. Yeah, the thing is, I don't have oranges on this island. At least not yet. I need to get fruit. Uh, what am I doing? The Tiki Torch, I would assume, would involve either this or this. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. I was alright. It'll probably sell well enough, but I'm not gonna mass craft them. Okay, just again, the thinking curiosity. <laughs> Frogger PS2.
<laughs> oh my god. So, I mean, it's kind of safe to say the GameCube did not do as well in Australia. Would you like to try and take a guess? Alright, so this game, the $2,000 GameCube game. How much the PS2 equivalent costs? If the GameCube game costs $2,000, at least the only copy I can find on eBay. I'm sure, like, it's... <sighs> Just because someone puts it up for $2,000 doesn't mean it's worth $2,000. It's worth how much people are willing to pay, and the market is willing to pay. But let's just say, you know, it's a $2,000 game. The PS2 version of that same game is $36. So, clearly, it did not sell well on the GameCube here. $32. You're close. I mean, okay, the thing the GameCube thing has is the GameCube has digital output, so I can put it through a capture card and it'll look nice. Whereas in the PS2, you gotta mess around quite a bit. But still. The upgrade that I'm looking for next year, potentially, that's gonna resolve all that. Like an upscaler that scales stuff to 4k and it looks really really damn good they even switch stuff they just haven't released a little box yet i should have made another one i just realized because i got a That game would have been, like, Kmart bargain bin shit. Without question. Oh yeah, I need to customize as well. But see, in that in that case, I don't I don't think it'd be cool. When you compare it to the NES game Little Samson, which is one of those games that was not successful. Not because it was a bad game, but just because it released when the, Nintendo, the NES was just basically dead. At that point. Um, at least that game is cool. It didn't release on another platform. And it's an original idea, and was made by... People that were responsible for a lot of popular series. But, you know, the game is cool. This is Frogger we're talking about, and it, you can get a copy of it on the PS2. Like, uh, you could probably get a copy for $20 if you were pa patient enough. Like, let's be real. I'm just to go, oh yeah, and this is my prized possession. A copy of Frogger for the GameCube. <laughs> the centerpiece of your gaming collection is a $2,000 piece of gaming history. Oh, what game is it? Oh, it's Frogger. I didn't customize my shit. <laughs> I was too busy 
laughing at the $2,000 frogger. You know what? That's not bad. For one torch, that's pretty decent. Oh, well, fuck. How, how am I getting this lucky? Dude, please. Yeah, now you see it. Okay, good. Well, this one I can sell, because I have... I have three already in storage. Now I'm curious. Dude. A copy of the NES game I'm talking about costs $250. Like, it's not even that expensive. That's a loose copy. I mean, a box copy, that's $5,000, but, like... The fact that... <laughs> I could, within reason, get a copy of this game that I think is, like, a pretty legendary game. I mean, there's a few other versions of it, but in general, between... The average seems to be, like, about 500 bucks. A $2,000 copy of Frogger. Oh, man. Look, that, that game could be something that I could get. If I really, if I really, really wanted a copy of it, I could get it. And just save up. But right now, priorities are computer. But Frogger? Oh dear. This was, uh, this was quite the rabbit hole. <laughs> Sorry, right. I mean, there's already games like that. Like, there's, um, that Kirby game for the 3DS that is expensive in the US, but is relatively cheap everywhere else. Because it didn't really get a physical copy in America. Like, it was very limited. And then, for some reason, everywhere else, they just released it. Sometimes it pays to be in Australia. Not always, but sometimes it does. Roach hit rocks. Okay. 
I bet you could pick up a copy of Chrono Trigger in a very nice condition. <laughs> I, I just can't get over it. Two thousand... Two thousand dollars. Because the game didn't release in PAL regions really well. Just think of... It's strictly speaking in the sense of like rare video games. Well, you can buy with that. Like, obviously, $2,000 can do a lot more for you in life. But if you had $2,000 to blow on video games, just, like, what that could get you. If you were to say, okay, well, you can only get retro games. It can't be something new. It has to be something that is a bit of a collector's item. Like, someone just gave you $2,000 to do that. I feel like Frogger just wouldn't be anywhere remotely close to that. In terms of priorities. Okay, uh, let me try and get the wolf roach, because that should be easy. I think they should re totally re-release that game on the Switch. Just do a port, do a remake, do whatever. Just fuck over that one person selling that copy for two thousand dollars. <laughs> oh shit! Another sewing machine, oh boy. Oh cool, alright, I'll go buy a ticket. Another subsidized ticket. Okay. 
Call up a sec. Okay, just checking if there were any new bugs to get. Not right now, I guess. I'm still gonna keep the game in mind. Cause that could be one of those games that I see at like a uh a flea market or a uh what a, like one of these secondhand shops. But sometimes ga games get donated and pe someone just puts the prices on them and usually they can be pretty cheap. Who knows, I might, I might get hit the jackpot. <laughs> Ugh, fuck, I just can't, I can't stop thinking about this. Just the absurdity. It would be if you told me, it would be like if you told me when I, when I used to work back at Kmart. Like, one of those, one of those games that was on the shelf for like $20 that was just shovelware. It's like, hey, if you buy this game now, in 15 years time, because no one bought this game, it's gonna be worth $2,000. Okay, good, that's progressing. Let's try. It's a sea bass, but it doesn't matter. Water projects again? Oh, I should be able to still do that. Okay. Ooh. Money. Buy whatever wallpaper is uh
I've already got a sewing machine. I'm selling the sewing machine. If I really miss it that much, I'll just... Buy it again. Uh, but is that a couple noodles? Hell yeah. That looks like the spicy kind. That's the kind of, that I would buy. Put some shredded chicken in that. Oh, and some, maybe some carrot or an, crack an egg in there. It's good shit. I know what I'm gonna do when I get the pattern designer. <laughs> I'm gonna set up. I wonder if I can do it, but like one of these display plinths. If you can put, can I put artwork on it? Hang on. Let's test. Canvas, I would assume. No. Display here. Painting. Damn it. <laughs> what I was gonna try and do. Get a picture of that Frogger game and just put it in like... I'm gonna make a gaming room upstairs again. And just put a shrine around it. It's just a $2,000 item in my gaming collection. But I don't think it's going to work the way I want it to. miles I can get. Okay, uh, i go buy another ticket now. There's still a rock to be hit somewhere. Produce, die for sea creatures. The hermit crab I feel like I could run into just by walking on the beach now. took a slag.
Alright, I'll do the sea creatures one. I can talk to Stone Otter as well. Unfortunately, this is kind of the time of year that's not great because there's no good fish until 10 p.m. It's not like summer where I, I got sharks. Hey, Messiah, how's it going? Uh, my day was alright. Had to get up pretty early. I just had to go run some errands and vote in this thing that we have in Australia right now. So I had to get all that stuff done in the morning. How about you? I assume you're just waking up now. Hey, man, how about that scallop of yours? Can I have it? Sure. Well, thanks for your generosity, man. Since you were cool, I left you something you'll dig. While I'm at it, let me lay some truth on you, the deep kind. Feel this. I knew a bull once. He ran a real successful china shop. So don't generalize, man. Just don't. Wrap your noodle around that. Yep, today's a good day. In the wakey-wakey state right now. <laughs> Fair enough. Got much on today. Well, I guess now that I have that, I don't have to continue looking. Conveniently, I am here. Mermaid bed. I have not crafted any other mermaid items. Today is cleaning day, oh boy. Do you have a lot to clean?
Fair enough. Ah, I'm on top of cleaning, so this weekend's more about chilling. Okay. Hey, Sandy. Thanks for the 26 months. You just woke up because you accidentally beat your tongue really hard. Shit. I can't say I've experienced that. Were you dreaming or something, or did just, I guess, don't remember? Or do you talk in your sleep? I know people that talk in their sleep. That's pretty common. Uh, customize, sure. Stockpiling miles for when I have to go look for the next villager. I think it was a dream thing. Ah. I've been using this one a lot. I guess as long as it wasn't too hard, like... Biting a tongue can be scary. Plant seeds, that's not gonna happen. A hermit crab hit rocks, water produce, okay. That's not what I want to do. I want to. That's a work. Excellent. I'm getting there. Ah, <laughs> uh, why? Can't, give me the cell bell one. I already spent five grand today. All right, I gotta go hit another rock. the only too embarrassing thing I've done when it comes to bed have been I've fallen out of bed once that was definitely a dream thing dude <laughs> turn around Horse should be easy to get. Tomorrow, KK Slider will visit, and then I can start some of the other things.
I need a little shadow. I need you. Hold up. Don't go anywhere. Don't go anywhere. Stay here. Okay. Nice. squeeze in a little bit of time with this before I do see a stars. <laughs> Unfortunately, there's not a whole lot going on island-wise yet. But it'll open up once the concert thing happens and a bunch of stuff will be unlocked. Oh, good. Let's see, tree was in the way. Okay, I got a question. This is something that I had a conundrum with this morning. As I did have to get up and I got breakfast, but like... So I get at a bakery. And so they had two options. Hang on. They had a muffin that was just freshly baked, and they had a donut that was just fre freshly baked. Or freshly made, not baked. But given the choice of, like, both of them being just freshly made, which would you get? I ended up going with the donut, but I almost regret it. Like, I maybe should have- I should have gone with the muffins. The muffin they had was this ra- they called it, like, a raspberry cheesecake muffin. It piqued my interest, but I didn't go for it. I thought the donut was the right way to go. Particularly with coffee, I, I figured that would have paired well. It did. But, I can't help but wonder. Yeah. 
You only like Bavarian filled donuts. Bavarian filled? There's like cream filled, because that's more or less what I had, and it had apple in it as well. That's more or less what I had. Just the addition of apple. But the muffin did intrigue me. Both freshly made, like they had just taken them out. It's almost to the point where I might go tomorrow and just see if they have it. Where's the seahorse? Apparently this thing is rarer than I thought it was. I thought the seahorse was pretty common. going on oh they got into a fight okay the clown's about to punch on hang on student cat this is the graduation thing right oh no i mean it's blue at least Because some folks haven't been paying attention to my horoscope today. I would never read such nonsense, so I'm just gonna walk away from that. I'm good. I know I'm dressed like a wizard, but I don't believe in that kind of magic. needs the stars as well.
okay, that was the average shadow. It wasn't going to be anything. I'm sure the seahorse is an all day thing, like, I'm not going to look it up. I think I've just been unlucky. Just the curse that I have where the moment I start looking for something, it just disappears off the face of the earth. Wait again? Wow, okay. That was quick. If I don't get it in the slap, I'm gonna go do something else. I think. <laughs> uh, I thought the seahorse would be quick. I'm getting everything except that. Last lap. If I don't find the seahorse, I'm just gonna go do one of the other ones. What do I need to do anyway? Uh, bugs. That one's not gonna happen. Spend and change clothes. Okay. Nothing. Ah. Okay, last fish. I don't think this is it. The shadow's too big. Yep. Alright, I'll sell the fish and then I'll 
go through other stuff. I might try again later, but... I swear, anytime I start looking for something, it just disappears. Oh, they're selling the special looking stuff now. These are cool, it's just they break. Like, I wish they wouldn't break. I don't, I'm pretty sure I got that DIY. Okay, um. Camouflage flooring? that it's the clock just as i bought that that went off i thought i did something there timing Now, I just got the one for selling bells now. Ah, oh, damn it. Um, how can I make some quick money? I guess if I make three more tiki torches, that's... I think I need to make four, actually, but... Okay, first things first. I'll just take off the mask. the DIY thing and I'll just sell the items so then it gets me 5,000 bells. Oh. Um, is that enough? I have four. Alright, that's fine. Thank you. 
I'll get the shells quickly, it won't take long. Plus, it'll let me do another lap of this. Seahorse. I have another fishing rod in storage. But I guess that does it. I. Shit. I should. Okay. That's a big shadow. I should definitely try and catch that. Hopefully it doesn't go away. That's it. That's all that was. Is that a... I don't think that's another one. I think that one's just a sea bass. Yeah, definitely. Definitely my lucky day. <laughs> Alright. Cool, I just made a lot of money. I mean, if I caught a third one, I could get a model made out of it, but eh. Time for money. Good. Um, ten flowers. That's a very easy one to do right now. Pretty much just step over here. I'll get done. Oh, 
I wanted to wrap it up, but like I got two very easy ones on the board right now, so I may as well. Okay. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, are there three quick bugs I can get? There's usually moths on windows. Yep, there's one. One more bug. Good enough. Ah, <laughs> gives me the sun again. That one will take just a couple of seconds. It's such a low effort one. Sell a hot item for a fortune. I think we're good. I don't really have much wood left, so. Alright. I'll progress on this more tomorrow, as that'll be the day that the concert will be up, and then it'll unlock a bunch of progression since I'll have the concert done. But if you've reached the end here on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I'm glad that the audio was normal today. Anyway, if you want to support the channel, the easiest way to do so is just uh, click the thumbs up button, helps out a lot, or you can watch one of the other two videos that have popped up on your screen. But, till next time, bye YouTube.